So hello and welcome to this episode of the Pastor's Desk. I'm excited to be the one bringing the word of God today. This space is such an amazing, you know, opportunity for us to meet and, and get encouraged. Just five minutes of God's encouragement through his word to carry us through the week as we go about being discipled and being, you know, living out our purpose in life as God has intended for us to do so. And so we are reading from the book of Nehemiah. Chapter number three from verse one and read verse one and two. And this is what the Bible says. Eliashib, the high priest and his fellow priests went to work and rebuilt the ship gate. They dedicated it and set its doors in place, building as far as the tower of the hundred, which they dedicated and as far as the tower of Hananel. When we read this portion of scripture, we realize that at this particular point, Nehemiah is beginning the rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem. And what happened is that we see an amazing sight here of the high priests and the priests starting off or being mentioned as the first in line as the people who started in the rebuilding of the gate, the ship gate, and the rebuilding of the wall. This is an amazing thing to see here. Why? Because the high priests were the ones with authority. These are guys with authority. These are guys with class. These are guys who were, were respected and these were guys who are held with high esteem. But they are the first ones who take up the position of starting the rebuilding of the wall of Jerusalem. And something interesting jumps out for me here and for us. God is calling us as leaders, as the disciples that are going out to make disciples, as priests in our homes, as priests in our, you know, in our workplaces, because God has called you and I to be that representative in that workplace, to be that leader who stands up first. And what we see the priests do here is that they lead by by example they start by showing it they don't feel like we have class they don't feel like we are leaders we will not work we'll just direct people because they had that chance but instead they put themselves out to work they lead by example and God is calling us as Christians as priests in our home as priests in our workplace the pre by priest I don't mean necessarily but a person who you know is robed and have you know has been consecrated as, as as a priest a per se but also all of us have been called to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. All of us are priests in our own right. And God is calling us to lead by example, to be the ones who are ready to go out to do the work of the Lord, to go out in our offices and do the work of the Lord. So this week, take that opportunity as that leader that God has called you to be in that office space, in that work, workplace, in that business to lead by example. If you want your employees to do something, do it first. Show them how to do it. Show them humility by example. Show them hard work by example. And the Lord God is going to bless us. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you and we bless you. Thank you for teaching us and reminding us this week to lead by example. That Lord, in our actions, Lord, as leaders, as you have placed us in those organizations, in those businesses, Lord, in our families, that Lord, we will do the work of God, the work of God, Lord, by example. That we will not feel like we are higher than any other people, but Lord, we will go out and be, be an example to be emulated by all our people in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, and we bless you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. So thank you for joining us this week. We meet again next week at 11 as we continue sharing on and getting encouraged in the word of God. God bless you.